What's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. It has been a while. I have not had the time or the product to open for the channel recently, but uh, I am back with a brand new video and today we are opening the brand new Rittenhouse Archives, very first Doctor Who set they've made. This is for series 11 and 12 with Jodie Whittaker as the 13th Doctor. This is the um, hobby edition, basically the US version. There's also a UK version, which I bought in some uh, from Cards Infinity and had that broke for me, as well as gotten some group breaks with him. So um, some random pack breaks. So I've gotten a few of these already. And these are from the UK version. Sharon Clark, nothing, nothing really big. Molly Harris. This guy has Tebow, an inscription auto, which you get one per box of Maxim Baldry, Kevin Eldon, Jack Shalou, and this is actually the best one, uh, Nicholas Briggs as the uh, voice of the Daleks, and he inscribed Doctor Who. That's cool. I didn't have him. Um, he's done voices in the past for previous series. That was pretty cool to get. So, uh, And then there's like one per box, or a couple, one or two per box, you get these... Uh, these parallel TARDIS uh, numbered cards. This is a uh, number out of 50 of Spyfall Part 2. So let's go ahead and rip into this. This is box 4680 of 5,000 they did for the U.S. version. They only did 10,000 boxes, 5,000 UK, 5,000 of the Hobby Edition or the U.S. Edition. Um, obviously, you can pull Jodie Whittaker out of this stuff, although she's extremely limited, and I've heard very, 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 very difficult to get. Um very difficult to get so anyways let's go ahead and open this up and this came from blowout cards i actually ordered pre-ordered this um before it came out before it was released uh these are more expensive than normal doctor who boxes because you get four autographs per box like i said including one of them is supposed to be an inscription auto although we i saw one box open in a group break that did not have an inscription auto but instead had a dual auto so i guess maybe the dual auto replaces the inscription auto um so there we go Let's get into it. Pack number one. Let's see, hopefully these are easy to open. I don't bend all the cards. Uh, which way is this going to go? So they look like this. If you haven't seen them, they have like a matte finish to them. The Witch Finders. And then the back has some information about the actual episode. And they have, uh, these aren't different parallels, I don't think. They're just the different colors they use for the base cards. And that's it. Oh, and there looks like there's some that have a... Uh, I don't know, like a old school feel to them. I don't know if it's a parallel or not. I guess I'd have to look. I'm gonna do my best not to uh, jack up because sometimes these packs that Rittenhouse makes are tough to open, and then they can end up betting the corners. So let's hope we don't have that happen. And they've got an insert here of oh, this is a New Year special. I think the UK versions have a gold border. This is not. They're not numbered. But uh, this is the hobby or US version of the in of the insert. And again, we're looking out for uh, autographs and numbered cards, TARDIS parallels with the little TARDIS symbol on the bottom, like you saw in that one card I showed you. Spyfall Part 1 and Arachnids in the UK. There you go. All right, next pack. Oh, that one opened really easy. That's nice if they, when they open that easy. Rosa... Fugitive of the Judon, or Jadoon. I think that's how you pronounce That's how I've heard it pronounced on some of the shows. Cool characters. Definitely one of the uh, races that have been around the show for a while, them and the Daleks. Um, at least in the new series stuff, anyways. Allies and Adversaries insert. Fugitive Doctor. Not numbered, just, a, just an insert. Rosa and the Ghost Monument. Now, I will admit I have not seen all, all the episodes. In fact, I think I've only seen a couple of the episodes of Series 11. I have not seen Series 12 or Series 13. So I am behind on my Doctor Who, that is for sure. Got the Fugitive of the Judon, or Jadoon. We just saw the Allies insert, Witchfinders, and Demons of the Punjab. All right, next pack. Can you hear me? And base. So, so far, just base cards and inserts. No numbered yet or hits. <clears throat> or from 55. Kerblam! Got 
Again, we're looking for four autos in this box, which is probably why they cost more. And it's supposed to be at least one inscription, uh, or I guess a dual. Praxis and Praxis. It's gonna be a lot of uh, duplicate episode um, cards in this. I think the base set's only like 60 something, but you know, of course you only have, I think it's like, is it like 10 episodes per series or something like that? It's a pretty low number. Oh, there's a parallel right there. I think these ones are numbered at 99. I believe that's the gold parallel numbered at 99. It is 33 of 99. There's our first number parallel. I think on average you're getting one to two per box, so we could get another one. We may not. We'll see. All right, and we got our first autograph, and it is Ian Mc... McKillany. I think that's how you say his name. As Co Charmus. Oops. So that's our first autograph out the gate. Again, I have not seen much of the new series, so I don't know much about these characters. That's our first hit. <clears throat> All right. The next pack here. Oh, next. Oh, there's our second auto. Jeez Louise. Came flying out. And it is an inscription auto. It is Charlotte Ritchie. Daleks are Supreme. And she is Lynn in Resolution. So that is our second auto. So back to back auto packs. Nice looking card. Um, I will say Rittenhouse always does a good job with the look of their cards. I feel like their sets are always fun. They, they have more numbered cards in their sets now. And a long time ago, they didn't used to have any numbered cards in, in different sets, and now they do. It's pretty common now, I think. Um, and so uh, they've always done a great job with their sets, whether it's Star Trek. we got another auto here. That's three now. Bhavnishna Parmer as Sonia Khan. Okay, so we're down to... One more auto left is what we're looking for in this box. One more left. It's my daughter coming in. All right. Oh, there's our last auto. Geez, that was like all in the same row and like back to back to back to back to back seemed like. So Sabona Finnerin as Becca Savage in The Witch Finders. That one actually has her her uh, episode listed. I don't think all these other ones did. Did they? No, that one didn't. I don't think that one did. And, oh yeah, that one does, in Resolution. So some of them do. Okay, so there's our four autographs. Nothing real big, unfortunately, no Jodie Whittaker, unless so for some reason she's like a last minute thrown in or something like an extra auto which i don't see that happening um it's gonna be base cards i think so if you just want to tune tune out the rest of the episode of this uh um video you're more than welcome to obviously um but we may, so we may yeah most likely we're done i don't see us getting the fifth auto unless we had a hot box which the hot boxes apparently are labeled um cards infinity actually had one in one of their cases it said it had a sticker that had 10 autos in it. So we might be looking for maybe one more numbered card. Um, some other parallels or inserts. That kind of stuff. Nothing. So of the cards I have seen from this set, at least the ones that are more valuable... Uh, we're not any of the ones in this box, um, unless I'm mistaken. So if I did, if I am missing something or you see one that I pulled that's more valuable than the other ones, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, just call packs here. Two more packs after this one. We do have another insert, and this is another Allies and Adversaries. It's that character, Ting, or Race, the Ting eat any matter as long as it's not organic. Okay. Interesting character, or race, alien race. All right. And unfortunately, there's no sketch cards. That would be cool if there had been sketch cards. So a little bit of a thicker pack because we got one of these. Must be one per box. I, I've already pulled this, actually. Um, like a foil character card. Jeez almighty, I keep dropping everything. My gosh. Butterfingers. Um, something like that. Nope, oh, another card behind it. Okay, last pack. Let's see if we get one more parallel or not. Like I said, it's been on average one to two of not not parallel numbered cards, but that's uh oh that makes one of the puzzles for the uh, TARDIS. 
All right, so just one numbered card in that box. And like I said, the four autographs were these ones right here. Nothing super crazy. You got two of the full bleeds, uh, the bordered one, and the inscription of Darlicks Our Supreme, Charlotte Ritchie. So that's it, guys. Thanks as always for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this Doctor Who break of the new set from Rittenhouse, their first dive into Doctor Who. They're going to be coming up with the newer sets, apparently, from, that feature other series and other Doctors, which will be really fun to uh, rip into. So thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.